Hello, welcome to our presentation on TLA plus specification of PCR parallel programming pattern. This is a work in progress. My name is Sergio Jovine, and I will be presenting this work uh, together with Jose uh, Solzona. We are both affiliated with Universidad Port Uruguay. This is the agenda of our talk. I will uh, go through the main goals of our work and uh, present the PCR, uh, which is the parallel programming pattern. Uh, we are interested in modeling uh, its semantics in, in TLA+. Uh, I'll go through uh, it with several examples, and then uh, Jose will take care of uh, explaining briefly the TLA plus uh, specification and get into uh, the details of, uh, of our work on that. automated translator from uh, PCRs into uh, TLA plus to make this integration seamless. So let me uh, first go uh, through or uh, introduce the PCR uh, consume, uh, produce, consume, reduce pattern. <clears throat> this is uh, what we call uh, parallel programming skeleton. Uh, that actually encompasses several uh, well-known um, programming skeletons such as uh, MapReduce and, and others. Uh, the idea is that the, um, <clears throat> the component uh, is uh, made of uh, a, a producer, which can be uh, think of as a one to many uh, transformation that it uh, receives uh, an, an input and produces a stream uh, of data that are then consumed by uh, a cascade of uh, consumers. Each consumer itself is a one to one transformation. So it takes an input and uh, outputs um, the same amount of, of data. And uh, at the end of this uh, graph, of the data flow graph, there is a reducer that is uh, many to one uh, transformation. It takes all data produced uh, or transformed uh, by the producer and the consumers and uh, outputs a single uh, value. Overall, uh, a PCR is a, a so one to one um, transformation. So uh, basically, uh, the data flow inside the PCR, the words that, that, that we said, so each input is uh, produced and generates, uh, uh, the producer generates a stream, uh, and then uh, the consumer uh, reads the values, performs some transformation, outputs the value, and all values are then reduced to a single one by the um, reducer. So some important remarks is that the um, all uh, um, reads are, are non-destructed, okay? So uh, any produced value by the producer or, or the consumers are, are, are there and can, are not destroyed after, after uh, a read. Uh, so they can be read multiple times. Um, <clears throat> uh, no uh, data 
produce uh, is um, ignored. Uh, so every uh, item must be read at least uh, uh, once. <clears throat> and then all these uh, components, producer, consumer, and, and reducers inside the PCR work completely in parallel, uh, only restricted by the data dependencies the, um, between, between them. Uh, so to be a little bit more concrete, we design a language um, uh, which basically has three components, uh, which can be uh, uh, thought of, of, of assignments to, to, to variables, which are themselves uh, streams. Um, so the, the, the producer has this syntax, P uh, uh, is equal to produce uh, Fx, where F is uh, a basic function, or another PCR. Uh, which is in charge of, of producing the actual uh, elements, uh, and X is just uh, the input to the to the PCR. Okay, so P is uh, uh, what we call an indexed variable. Um, that is, P represents the whole stream of data produced by the uh, producer. Sec means that in some particular cases, the uh, produce itself is a sequential process. Um, then the consumer is basically the same kind of uh, thing. Uh, um, it, it has some uh, function f, which is either a basic function or another PCR. This, uh, so uh, the consumer and the uh, producer and consumers allow nesting of, of PCRs. That's the way uh, PCRs <coughs> are composed. And the consumers take uh, p uh, which is the produced variable and uh, output their um, data on, on a C variable, which uh, represents the uh, stream of um, variables generated by the uh, consumers. And then uh, there is a, a reducer, a reduce, which uh, basically applies a commutative and associative operation um, that has some initial uh, neutral value, uh, V0, um, to the consumed uh, or the, to, the, to, to the stream produced by the consumers to generate the final output of the PCR. So we said uh, we identify variables P, C, as describing the full history of assignments. Um, and then uh, to denote uh, a, a specific value uh, then we use sub indexes. So pi is the uh, i value uh, produced, and ci is the uh, i uh, value uh, pro uh, produced by the uh, consumers. Then the language allows for uh, moving uh, along uh, the, uh, the stream of, of data, performing either look ahead or look behind uh, operations, for instance. Uh, if pi is uh, the i Fibonacci number produced by, by, by the producer, then uh, in order to uh, generate them, we can make use of the i minus one value and the i minus two value to generate value of pi. This is a la like a look behind operator, but we can also uh, apply a look ahead operators moving forward on the, on the string. So in order to operate, the, the producer um, requires defining an iteration space, which is uh, also defined uh, by, by the user. And uh, the, the iteration space is defined by a lower bound, or an upper bound, and a step function uh, um, that define all the indexes that need to be uh, traversed during the, the computation. To illustrate the, um, the PCR concept, we'll go through uh, an example, which is the um, count uh, T prime. So it's a process for counting the number of uh, T, um, Fibonacci primes uh, in, a, in an interval. Uh, I will first present a uh, first version and then a more uh, a refined version uh, of it that involves uh, composing PCRs. 
So the, the first um, model is given by um, a producer that uh, uses the Fibonacci function to produce uh, Fibonacci numbers. <clears throat> and then uh, consumers check primality on the uh, Fibonacci numbers uh, produced by the producer. And then uh, a reducer count, um, basically counts all um, prime Fibonacci generated by the uh, consumers. So on the left, we have the abstract syntax of, of PCR, and on the right, we have its uh, semantics. So in the syntax, so we have just uh, the, the, uh, the functions, which are the basic functions. Um, that Fibonacci is prime, and just the, the count. Um, then the uh, user defines uh, iteration space, the lower bound and the upper bound, uh, and the uh, step. Um, so in this case, x is going to be instantiated by the um, uh, number of, of Fibonacci numbers that we want to, to generate. And then the iteration space is uh, the set of index from 0 to, to n. Um, then the uh, Fibonacci primes a PCR, P primes 1, uh, has a sequential producer go through the iteration space and then produce the uh, Fibonacci numbers. And then uh, we have uh, um, consumers that will check for uh, primality and then uh, the reducer that will count. The semantics is given by <coughs> this uh, directed acyclic graph of dependencies. Uh, where uh, P0, PI, etc., <clears throat> are the indexed values produced by the uh, producer. Here it says that uh, to produce value PI, the producer uh, needs uh, PI minus 1 and PI minus 2. C0 up to Cn are the uh, values produced by the, the consumers, and we have a data dependency between C0 and P0, um, Ci with Pi, uh, etc. <clears throat> these, uh, uh, the computation of all these C uh, values completely independent one uh, on the other. So it can be executed uh, in, in any order. And then uh, at the end, uh, the reducer um, computes R. And to compute R, it depends on all, on all values. The reducer can uh, perform intermediate computations. Uh, and at the end, uh, output the, um, uh, the final output, which is the number of Fibonacci primes in this interval. This is the, 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 the basic uh, model, the basic specification of Fibonacci primes, but uh, the, the function each prime itself can also be parallelized. So we want to do that. In this case, we want to replace uh, the function each prime by an RPCR. And in this case, we need to, when we uh, resort to uh, nesting PCRs, uh, we need to uh, define um, um, an iteration space and the indexes of variables on a, a higher dimension uh, space as uh, lists of indexes. So we'll talk about the uh, capital I is the uh, um, iteration space uh, of the uh, upper uh, level, and uh, small i uh, represent indexes in the uh, alteration space, which is local to the actual uh, PCR. All variables uh, in, uh, in the execution of a PCR are indexed by a multidimensional uh, space that will represent as a list or tuple of um, indexes.
So in this second version of the Fibonacci prime counter, we expand the, as, as I said before, the East prime function uh, here by uh, PCR. Okay. So each time uh, uh, a consumer uh, is uh, executed, uh, it will itself uh, compute uh, as, a, as, a, as a PCR, uh, where the producer is the one that produces the divisors. The consumer checks for uh, whether it divides or not. Reducer just uh, makes the conjunction of all the outputs of the um, consumers. So basically, this uh, uh, this slide we have the same syntax as, as before, where we expanded its prime as a as a PCR, which is here from lines 21 to 26. That's exactly the same the same structure. And here we show the uh, iteration space of, of the uh, uh, divisors. Okay, and, and on the on the right we see the the same graph as before, where we have added more uh, nodes here, which uh, represent the uh, data dependencies inside the uh, East Prime uh, PCR. Okay, so D stand for the divisors, uh, which we see here that are indexed uh, with a um, couple of numbers. Uh, the first one corresponds to the index of uh, the parent here C, and the, the second number corresponds to the uh, local iteration space index of the uh, PCR generated by the uh, producer in the uh, East Prime uh, PCR. And essentially the same kind of uh, pattern uh, of dependencies is shown uh, as in the uh, uh, parent uh, PCR. Uh, A represent the uh, um, results of the uh, reduction of the reducer in the S prime uh, PCR. Hello everyone, my name is Jose and I am going to show you our TLA plus specification of the PCR concepts we have seen earlier. First, I'm going to discuss the high level overview of our project. We organize our project across different TLA plus modules in a way it's convenient for us to handle. There is a PCR based module in this module, we have the principal definitions that are that we can find in every PCR. There is also, also a PCR iteration space module. In this module, we define some related concerns to the definition of iteration spaces. Every concrete PCR has a module, it has its own module. It is called PCR followed by his name. In these PCR modules, the principal actions P, C, and R corresponding to the producer, consumer, and reduction behavior are defined. There is also a main PCR module for the root PCR that is called main PCR followed by the name of the root PCR. There is also a type dev module. In this module, we collect the basic data types that we expect to be in the, all the PCR modules involved in the system. So in a PCR, variables are stream indexed with multidimensional index, which are automatically generated by the underlying runtime system. We formalize this by using the concept of context and context mappings. So let bar P type and bar C type be basic data types. For the producer and consumer variables, we define bar P and bar C as functions from natural to records. In these records, the field B denotes the value of the variable at some assignment, and the, and the field R keep, is used to keep track the number of times it has been read. The value null means the assignment has not occurred so far. So a context represents the PCR state are in a scope. These are the components of the context. In is the input variable. EP is the current iteration index. 
BP and BC are the producer and consumer live. That is the reducer result. And there is a state component, one of the possible three states for the PCR. Multidimensional indexes are modeled by sequences of net. A context mapping is a partial function from index to context. Any PCR have its own context mapping map. So map of capital A is the PCR context at some index capital A. For convenience, we give names to context elements, as you see here. We use record notation to denote the values at any index. We define also some useful predicates over auto variables. Here we have written and read. Written holds true if a variable has been written at some index, and read holds true if some variable has been read at some index. Any PCR has associated an iteration space which defines the index generated by the PCR. For this, we define an iterator operator, which describes a range in terms of high order operator, step, lower bound, and upper bound. These high order operators correspond to the PCR syntax element discussed earlier. Every concrete PCR module describes its initial conditions by means of operator init context. Init context defines the initial context as a record with input value and EP set at the lower one of the input X. BP and BC are initialized as not written yet. Red is initialized as a neutral value and the state component is, is initialized as off. Every concrete PCR module also describes what is the possible next step as a disjunction of the actions. If the state is off, the only possible action is to start. But if it is running, the next possible actions can be P, C, R, or quit. Quit is a convenient, met, a convenient action that immediately terminates execution if the iteration space is empty. The main PCR module instantiates the root PCR and any other PCR involved. Here, the main system specification is defined. For example, let PCR1 and PCR2 be two instances of some PCR modules. Then the main module for PCR1, assuming PCR1 is the root PCR, will have the following form. So we see the init state predicate initializes the context mappings for each of the PCRs. The next step says that any of these two PCRs can do an action. Now we further illustrate our specification using the PCR fee prime one example. At the left, we have the PCR syntax, and at the right, we have the corresponding TLA plus specification. Action P at some index always require the EP variable to be in the iterator and update the context mapping accordingly. PP at EP index is set to the value computed by the basket function FIB, and EP is updated to the next value according to the step function. For the consumer specification, we have a C action. It not deterministically choose an A in, of the iterator for which BP has been written and has not been read, and for which the corresponding BC has not been written. And it updates the, ma the context mapping, marking BP as read, and updating the BC value with the value computed by the basic function is prime. For the reducer specification, we have a error action. It now deterministically choose an 
A from the iterator for which BC has been written and has not been read. And it updates the, the current context accordingly. It sets the red component to the value computed by the basic function count, increments the read count on the value on the read count on the variable BC, and update the state the state component according to predicate C done. The C done predicate holds true if every consumer variable on index other than A has been read. So now we are going to discuss PCR elements with nesting. PCR fit prime 2 uses PCR is prime as a consumer. In this case, is prime is not a basic function. It is another PCR. First, we know that the producer at PCR is prime sequential, so it's different from early for the earlier one. In this case, it not deterministically choose an A from the iterator for which PP has not been written and updates the context mapping, in this case, map tree. Now, for the consumer specification of PCR 5.2, we have that the consumer call is split in two parts, call and read. In the first part, the action call, an index A is not deterministically chosen from the iterator for which BP has been written, has not been read. So the current context mapping, in this case map 2, is updated, marking BP as read. And the context mapping of the module is prime is updated with the corresponding initial context. For C red, an, e, an A is non deterministically choose from the iterator for which VP has been written and for which correspondingly PC is not written and for which is prime has finished. Then map two is correspondingly updated with the value computed by the instant is prime and this is set in BC. Correctness and termination properties are specified in the my module. Our two previous PCR examples, V primes one and V primes two, have the same properties. Solution is the expected behavior for this PCR. It computes all the Fibonacci prime numbers in the interval from zero to some number x. So correctness is stated as forever if phi primes have finished dead phi primes out, that is the output of phi primes, equals the solution on the variable n. n is the input variable of the specification. Termination is stated as eventually phi prime has finished. We assume the root PCR start at context zero. We can relate phi primes one and phi primes two by proving the later is an implementation of the former under an appropriate refinement mapping. In the main module of phi prime one, there is a context mapping, map one. We consider this the high level spec. In the main module of phi prime two, there are two context mappings, namely map two and map three. We consider this the low level spec. In this module, we instantiate the main module of fifth prime one with map one substitute for an expression in terms of map two and map three. So here is the expression. This refinement works by contracting the time between the actions call and read to satisfy the behavior on the consumer action in the high level spec. In this refinement, we have to take care. We have to take care of variables BP and BC of the producer and consumer. In the case of BP, we have that for in assignment, we need to keep the field R as zero. That is marked as not read until is prime have finished. 
in the case of BC, we have that foreign assignment. If the corresponding BP variable has been read and is prime is has finished, then the B field has to be set with the output computed by the is prime instance. So some remarks about model checking and Turing proving. We always try to make the specifications to be friendly with the model checker TLC and the theorem prover TLAPS. Currently, we can model check properties like correctness, termination, and refinements on at least small models. If it is possible or not, it depends heavily on the problem. For very large state space, simulations can be useful. We believe model checking is useful to make sure that our intuitions are correct. Currently, we have only used TLAPS to prove type invariance, but we hope to prove correctness and refinement properties. We currently have applied the presented approach to other known problems like count words, merge sort, and end queens. But we are working on other examples also. We are missing some treatment for the PCR syntax, iterate, and feedback loop. We also are missing handle of early termination. We, we believe we can attempt a translation from PCR to the TLA plus. And we expect to formalize an abstract model of a target execution, execution runtime and to prove refinements. Thank you very much.